Do you guys see this absolute unit of Rune Guard? Yeah? This wasn't for fighting Celestia. It wasn't for invading other nations. I'm like 80% sure this was used to fight the Abyss. Conria waged war against the Abyss. Now, let me explain. But first, uh, there will be spoilers, um, especially with some mid to later parts of the Aranyaka or the Forest Book quests. First, if you explore the Devantaka mountain region, you can find five damaged ruin guards scattered throughout the area. If you can find some energy blocks, you can restart them and they give a coded message similar to the ones in Dragonspine. Uh, my previous video talks about this more in depth, but when put together, they have a message that reads, We Schwan and Ritter have fought to the last one. Schwan and Ritter means Swan Knight in German, and is likely a reference to the Knight of the Swan, a hero from Medieval Legends, whose story has many iterations and adaptations, including yet another <laughs> Richard Wagner <laughs> opera, <laughs> Noengrin. <laughs> this seems to create a weird contrast between heroic knights and terrifying killing machines. The byline for the achievement for reactivating the guards also evokes an aura of courage and nobility, reading, visit the place where the heroes met their end. In roughly the same area, you can find a note called the Academia Investigation Team's Interim Report, where trainee Duster Zandik, who we might know by another name, speaks of some findings. Found an organization called Schwanenritter, and its existence may be confirmed by the legends of the ruins of Dari. As a side note, even though the ruins of Dari are a place on the Sumeru map, it's interesting that Dari can be translated to mean atheist or a group of people who believe in infinite time, but that's an entirely different topic. I wonder what the connection between Dari and Conria is, though. But going back to Schwan and Ritter, we learned some crucial information during the Vimana Agama quest, which is a part of the Forest Book. So again, this is your last spoiler reminder. Three, two, one, let's go. In the Vimana Agama quest, uh, there's a lot going on, but we end up going inside the Ruin Golem with this researcher named Jezari. And inside the Ruin Golem, there are these three mysterious chronicles you can interact with. The first one reads, Hildrick, Schwan and Ritter, Beard Father, passed away due to multiple organ failure. May he rest in peace in the foreign land. The second one reads, Hadura, Schwan and Ritter, Sentinel of the Golden Hall, executed by the Night Marshal and Fortis for betrayal that caused irreversible damage to a machine. Despite the major loss and that the Night Marshal's left eye was lost in this event, given Hadera was the last of their compatriots, a proper knight's funeral was granted for Hadera. I'll note here that the Night Marshal and Fortis is actually referenced in the achievement name for reactivating the Rune Guards, in the name of Unfortis, and it's also the key to decoding the encrypted message. And finally, the third one reads, Inghilder, Schwan and Ritter, Damsel of the Dale went missing in the battle against the onslaught of dark beasts. Only her and Signet Ring were recovered. A proper knight's funeral was arranged for her. Before you find this last chronicle, you learn that Inghildur was the pilot for the Ruin Golem, as you have to defeat the Black Serpent Knight, the sword of a lost homeland. I've joked amongst my friends that Celestia has kaiju, and that's why the Ruin Machines are so big, but it seems like what they really were fighting were the onslaught of dark beasts, so the abyssal monsters during the Cataclysm. So what does this all mean? At this point, there could be a number of interpretations of this, but I have some speculation. Consider this. In the quest, Jezari tells you that Conrian technology was powered by basically a leyline power grid, leyline batteries, long before the first Rune Guard was even made. So only more recent versions of Rune Guards are driven by the dark power of their cores. What this suggests to me is that Conria was already pretty technologically advanced, but began to rely on dark powers, abyssal powers, to enhance their potential. 
And I don't think them embracing abyssal power and clashing with Celestia is coincidental. Could it be then that their reliance on the newer dark powers corrupted them, leading to folly? Or could they have turned to abyssal power in the first place to overturn the gods? No matter the sequence, we do know of at least one person who was not a fan of whatever direction Conria was going in. And there could have been many others. So could the Schwannen Ritter also have been Conrians against the Abyssal Power in the first place? Or were the Schwannen Ritter simply responding to a situation that spiraled out of control? Regardless of the scenario or the sequence of events, the fact still remains. They were Conrians who were fighting against the Abyssal Monsters during the Cataclysm. And of them, the Schwannen Ritter fought to the last one. Hey everyone, thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, etc. You guys are definitely enablers for me to go down wild rabbit holes of uh, insane crack theories and speculation that I like to do. I really love reading your own theories in the comments, so do type your own below. Um, and if you have any suggestions for how I can uh, make better videos or things you would like me to talk about, uh, just let me know. So see you later.